here in your favourite place uh, to talk about things that you love because we love you. Yay! Thanks for joining us. Is it cosy? It's lovely. It's gorgeous. This is Victoria Park. When I first moved to London, when I was 21, this was the first place I moved to. The gruff East End. The gruff East End, and it wasn't like it is now, but we loved it. It's really beautiful. It's quite a weird park. Like the pagoda is very <laughs> random. I don't know what the pagoda, is, what it is, or what it stands for. I love it. It's but... beautiful. I always think that you're quite steely and determined in in life. Have you always been independent? I left home when I was 16, and at the time I felt really old. But thinking back, I was only 16. That's, you know, that's not old at all. And I never went back after that. You know, I went on. I moved in with a group of girls. Moved from house to house. Always moving, 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 moving. Um, and I think because I did grow up with a twin, I had this, this sort of determination to be on my own for a bit, sort of be one person, you know, because I'd always had that person by my side. So maybe that's why I'm really mm -hmm. independent. When was the last time do you think your heart skipped a beat? Like, what was the last thing that surprised you? I think it was, I had my book launch, and you know when you invite everyone and you don't think, you just, I don't know if any, everyone's going to want to come or everyone came. And then you just realise that actually, God, Life is so good and friends are everything and there's mm. like, it, friends literally add all the flavour to your life and that's what my book was about and everyone came and it was so nice. Were people nervous about you writing an autobiography? Yes, <laughs> loads of people were nervous. I didn't put anything in the book that people didn't want in the book. Mm -hmm. I think that was really important because you're writing about how you feel, not about how someone else feels. You can't put in writing how someone else feels because you're not them. So it's quite important though, all it was was my story from my point of view. I just can't believe that you just are a Strictly winner. I can't believe it. Being attacked by a dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hi, mate. <laughs> really, really Someone was a Strictly fan. <laughs> What was the last thing that you loved in terms of X Factor? Like, what are you loving at the moment? Because it's such a, a heady journey. It's hard to keep up. What are you loving? Who it's are you loving? World. Ollie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Well, he's, so, he's such a good guy. I love working with him. He's like funny because he's like this like, funny, cheeky Essex boy. But sometimes he'll just come out with the most profound sentences. And you're just like, where did that come from? And he's really understanding and he gets people and he understands, he understands emotions as well. And he knows me and I'm like, I start to get upset and he's like, no. So he looks he's after good. you. Yeah, he does. You are quite emotional, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm emotional. I just have to sort of tell myself now, you're an emotional person. But isn't that hard when you work on X Factor? Yeah. Okay, you love clothes. I know yeah. you love clothes. What was the last thing you bought that you love? I bought a leather Mew Mew knee length coat. <laughs> Do you know what I did before I bought it? Phoned my mum and asked her if I could do it. <laughs> because it was so much money, I was like, I need to ask my mum if Amazing. this is okay and this is allowed. And what did she say? She went, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> I, I thought, now I've told you I can do it. I just needed to tell you that I was going to do it. She was fine. What do you love in your house? I've never really been a fan of symmetry. So everything, nothing matches. And like, I'd never have like two matching lamps or two bedside tables. I've, I don't know why that is. I quite like things that are higgledy-piggledy. Mm. So my flats and my house is all kind of different colours, and but it kind of makes sense when it's all together, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Do you have tips for heartbreak? Because there'll be many people watching yeah. who know that you're open when you're heartbroken. You've got to feel it, and those moments always lead to better moments. And actually, this is why I put in my book, it's like, bad moments will always lead to good moments, and the good moments, you know, will sometimes lead to another bad moment, and then lead to a good moment. But these things have to happen mm. for other things to then happen along the way. Yeah. And it's like, it's so cliche, but literally one door will not open until you've closed the other one. Oh, thank you!